Hello and welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts. Today what I'm going to be doing is seeing if I can make these Christmas tree decorations and add these individual gems to see what they come out like. So some gems in resin, when you get the exothermic reaction, will kind of clump together and, and melt, but I'm hoping these won't. Before I do that, what I'm going to do is paint the merry and the deer using some mica powder so that kind of sticks out as well now that's really easy to do i've done that on lots of my videos i'm just going to be using some of these micro brushes and some mica powder to do that with i've got my resin mixed up now and i've le left it for about five minutes to get rid of any bubbles and adding these gems now these are plastic gems so my always concern is that the exothermic reaction of the resin is going to melt the gems and I have had that happen with some before in larger pores so I've given them a good mix in to ensure that each one of the gems is completely covered and I'm pouring this in here slowly to ensure that I don't introduce any other bubbles. Now with these molds obviously you've got to get the resin and some of the gems around the little ring bit there that you put the ribbon through. So I'm just using a pipette to ensure that I've pushed them through. I also want one side, which is the back side, to be a little bit more dimensional rather than just flat. So that is why I'm adding some additional gems onto the top of this resin, which actually does give it a really lovely look and popping them down. I just want to say a big thank you to everyone that got me a coffee last month. Your names are coming up now on the board. And if you'd like to help me out this month and buy me a coffee, I've got to replace the roof on my resin studio because unfortunately the wind ripped it off. It really is appreciated. So I'm now moving around the gold ones in here. Now these give a very different effect, as you'll see at the end, than the red ones that I put in. Again, pouring them in and ensuring that the gems and everything are all the way around the little nib and pushing them down. I will also scatter some on the top of this one as well. The other thing I don't show in this video, which I really should have shown, is I do go over these very lightly with a long necked lighter to pop any surface bubbles. And that really does make a difference as well. It gets rid of those bubbles. So pushing these gems down so that they're all in connection with the resin so they don't drop off. And then what I'll do is I'll leave these to cure up overnight and show you what they look like. Well, these have all cured up now and I, from this side, they look really nice. I think that, I don't know why, it reminds me of a pomegranate. So I'm quite looking forward to seeing how these have come out. Oh, that one's come out really pretty and the actual mica powder deer looks really good. Let's have a look. See, they do kind of meld into each other, but they haven't actually melted the gems. Oh, and the Christmas tree is really cute. Oh, I'm really pleased with how they've come out. They will definitely be going on my tree. And obviously they've got the little loops in there as well to be able to put a ribbon in. So they will be hanging with the other ones that I made using a different method on my tree this year. And I will show you my tree in a video in a short. So you can see everything that I've made over the last few years hanging on my tree. Hope you've enjoyed this project. It was a nice, quick, simple project, but a great fun project. Let me know in the comments what you think and what sort of decorations you're making this year for Christmas. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and please boop that like button because it really helps me get my likes up. It really does help. Take care. Enjoy your resin. Bye.